Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 59. This is actually a continuation of episode 58. In episode 58, we actually removed the product purchase button from any of our products in, that were in our boat or a subcategory of boat. So you can see here it says canoes, kayaks, and sups, stand up boards. And any product that is in any of the subcategories here, we don't want a purchase button. And what we want uh, is to let the customer get in touch with us. Now, where we left it off was just a call us about the product. Totally useless to the customer. I have no phone number here. And what if they don't want to call? What if they want to email? They have to go search for any contact information. So, totally useless. What we're going to do today is make this useful. And the way we're going to start this is by creating a gravity form form. So this is five fields. I have my name, my phone number, my email, and then a paragraph text field for what I want to know as the user. And then I can see I have one down here as the product name. If we just left this without the product name, then you know our client or our users of the website would get an email about what, what product, and there's like 500 products on that store. So we'd have no idea what it was. But we really don't want to have make the user fill that out either. So what we're gonna do is actually use the dynamic fill in Gravity Forms to fill this in uh, with our product name. And we start that by editing and going to our advanced and we need to check off allow field to be populated dynamically and then this one was I'll have to double check now that I took it out I call this west boat name west being a prefix for the client and with our parameters set up let's start diving into some of our code we'll hit update our form And we're just starting from where we left off. I have a function here that says Western Boat Purchase Text. And that is what's going to hold our boat purchase text. Let's take a look at our new code. You can see here our new code at the bottom. And what we're starting with here, the first thing we want to do is figure out what product we have. Because we need to get the title of that product and we want to feed it into our form. The second thing we do is to get the title. And we can use that by using get the title out of our product object. And get product gets the whole product object. And then we simply have an HTML wrapper that says you can call us at, gives their phone number, or fill out the form below. And Gravity Forms we call with a short code. So we need to use the function called do short code. And we use it by the Gravity Form ID. And you can see that in your URL for your Gravity Form. You see right here at the end, it's Gravity Form 4. And the name is the boat inquiry form. I don't want to show the title. I don't want to show the description. And then my field value. This is where I'm actually filling this in. And so we're doing field underscore values. We need to match what we called. So it's west underscore boat underscore name equals and then our product title variable. And actually, that's it. If we save and refresh, you can see you have a form here. Admittedly, not the prettiest page right now. We're going to do some more to make that a little nicer, hide it and show it. And, but you can see right here it says diesel 60 and that's our product. Now really, do we want to show or even give our user the opportunity to edit product name? No, we don't. So I have a generic CSS class in my theme called no show. And what it does is make sure nothing shows. All it does is hide. So when we refresh, you can see we don't even see the boat there. But our staff that are going to get this form, they're gonna see the boat title right in there so that they know what the client is talking about. Obviously, you could extend this to have a link to the product. I've done this on an antique store where they have you know, 52 seater chests and which exact one are we talking about? And so we actually provide a link for the staff to actually find this product on the site so they know exactly what their customer is talking about. The whole goal here is just to make this as easy as possible for our, our customers and for our uh, clients, for the staff that are going to be dealing with these inquiries. Thanks for watching.